Yeah, you mentioned pro-life, abortion, a huge issue in this election. Uh, MAGA candidates, uh, MAGA, I'm sorry, the MAGA uh, people out there have been betrayed before and they feel, feel this. Uh, but also, they've been empathic to a president, Donald Trump, who used to be pro-choice. And uh, you've said in years past, you think a government should stay out of a woman's decision to abort her pregnancy. Um, so I'm wondering, uh, like Trump, did you have a turnaround moment when you became pro-life? What brought you around on this issue? Actually, my one interview that you're quoting was about a law that banned uh, the taking of a child's life, even if the mother's life was at risk. As a physician, I find it in my heart to understand that exception, which, by the way, is the same exception President Trump has and Ronald Reagan had. So I'm pro-life. In fact, the hardest endorsement I got was not my mother-in-law, or rather not my my former President Trump, but my current mother-in-law, my only mother-in-law, who was an ordained <laughs> and was pretty tough and she she's very clearly pro-life she actually wrote a lot of the pro-life literature in our part of pennsylvania the other thing is as a doctor i've taken care of little babies who just just out of the womb their hearts are like thimbles the majesty of of god's creation is so special you could never imagine hurting a child even nine months earlier when it was first conceived which is when life starts